is our demo on IBM Cloud Pack for applications. I have an OpenShift cluster running in IBM Cloud. Um, this is the cluster. And I already opened the web console to OpenShift. Um, this is OpenShift. We installed today the uh, IBM Cloud Pack for app applications, and you can find the link here uh, to the dashboard. If you open the dashboard, and then you click on instance, you will find that we have a collection hub for Cabanero. This will give us these um, collections for the different runtimes, including Java Micro Profile and Node.js. So uh, to get started, we need to copy this um, URL um, and then use AppStudy to um, add the, this repository so it knows about how to start get started with these runtimes. So I'll open my um, terminal and I will type AppStudy repo add, call this one Cabanero, and then copy the, the URL. And then I can do AppStudy um, list Cabanero. And I will see that now I can be able to create different apps using these AppSody stacks uh, under different defaults. So I'll, I'll create one with Node.js Express. So I would type, uh, let me create a, an empty directory call. I'll call this one my, my app. Um, go into my app. I will also create a new um, OpenShift project so I'll call this one OC new project my project and this is where I'm going to deploy my new application and then I will do absolutely uh, init Cabanero which is that's the name I gave to the repository of absolutely stacks and I will do the node.js express as I do that uh, Absolutely would initialize a new uh, application directory with a couple of files to get started. So, as you can see, I have app.js um, and I have a regular package.json and my test folder. I can go ahead and um, I like to do um, open VS Code so I can see the application. An application is just a hello world. Um, if you open it, it will say hello world. So let's run um, the terminal. So I will open the terminal in this open VS Code. And I can do absolutely run or absolutely build. So I will do absolutely, um, let's do debug also. Uh, so let's do absolutely debug. And this will start. Uh, my application build a container and this would allow me to either debug or change the code and it would do a live reload of the app inside the container so it looks like the app is running I can open the browser in port 3000 localhost 3000 and that's hello from Absody if I make a change I can say quick demo save it, the app reloads, detects the file change, I can reload, it says quick demo. So I think I'm happy with my, with my app. I can do control C and stop it. I can also do it from the, the task. So I can do uh, run a task and I can select Absody. So I can even build a container locally and that will start Absody build and start the container and I can do a build, run, deploy. Um, so now I'm happy with the app. I want to deploy it into a DevOps pipeline, into OpenShift, into the new namespace um, or project that I created in OpenShift. So we need to put this code in, in Git. Uh, before we do that, we have to run a command in, in Absody. Um, which is to generate a deployment file. So you will do absolutely uh, deploy dash dash generate dash only. And this will give me a file 
for app deploy.yaml and this is the definition and custom resource for Kubernetes for app study uh, application which will be used by the app study operator that already is installed in the cluster. Uh, one thing that I need to do is put the namespace where I want to deploy this application so I just created a new namespace for my project, save it and now I can go ahead um, and do create a git repository there in command line um, so I'll do a git init initialize it here I can do the commit and add here or I can use the UI I like to use the UI so I'll add um, all these files my test file and I can do initial commit and then now I need to push this application to to get so for that I'll use github enterprise I can create a new repository I create a repository my node.js app um, I call this my my app create a new repository and then I will take the files to push them so I'll go back terminal I can push the code It will take a few seconds, so oh, like always, I like to go back and refresh. And I see my code is here. Uh, the next steps is I'm going to go back to the Cloud Pack for Application Dashboard, and I'm going to open the DevOps uh, tool dashboard. In this case, it's called Tecton from the Open Source Tecton Continuous Deployment. So I'll open that in a new window. And what I want to do is create a a, uh, a webhook, basically a git webhook, so anytime that I push code to git, um, git will send a HTTP request, a, a webhook into uh, Tekton and start my DevOps pipeline. So in this case I will add, add a webhook, I'll call this one my, my app, the repository of the, repo, of the git repo, uh, in this case, uh, select an access token. So this is an access token with the privilege permissions of repo hook. So it's to um, insert that. So I already did have one, so I can just select that one. So it's an access token with the permissions of adding a webhook to that Git repository. And then I'll select which names, which pipeline do I want to run. So uh, the pipelines are located into the Cabanero namespace. I'll select the Node.js Express, I want to build it and deploy it. Uh, the service account on that namespace, I have the right, correct access to Scavenger operator. And then I want to deploy it to the internal registry of OpenShift. So in this case, I want to deploy it there, but I want to go to my, my project namespace. So I'll put my project in here. So I'm going to grab the, the code from Git GitHub Enterprise and push, build the, the Docker image or the container image and then push it to the registry. So I think that's it. I can save it. I can go back to the repo, check in settings to see if um, the, the webhook hook was created. It's created. You can ignore um, this as um, something that we're working on. Uh, but the webhook is working. So the next time, next thing that I need to do as a developer is um, I have here the pipeline pipeline runs all the pipelines that are running I, I have a few no one is uh, is not running yet because I haven't pushed any code so let's make a change in the application and push that change and uh, that will trigger the pipeline so we'll go and make a change to my application instead of saying hello apps sorry I will say hello IBM cloud for applications. Um, I'll save that code, add it, and then I'll say a new change for the demo, and then and then push it. And that code will go to to get. I can double check that it's in get. Go to the repo, see the latest commit. You can see the change here that I did. So that's the, the app that I want to see when this gets deployed. I can go back. As you can see, it's already triggered. So 
it's building the Node.js Express build and deploy. It will take a few minutes um, to do the build task and then the de deploy task. One thing I wanted to mention is to be able to um, do a git clone, get a copy. I configure already configured a secret for github.ivn.com and basically you can add another secret if you have another git repository just put your username and get an access token with access repo uh, public so you can um, the pipeline can clone the repo and then submit you can also do it for if you have an external docker registry you can like our factory or um, using the IBM container registry and you can add the, the token and, and provide that to the pipeline and add the registry uh, URL so it's associated with that registry URL and then submit it and that's how the secrets are saved and these are saved as uh, Kubernetes secrets they're protected if we go back to the pipeline runs see how the pipeline is progressing it will take a few minutes see the build push is complete and the deploy task started task is doing it's modifying this step is modifying the application setting the image and this one is deploying the image if we go back to OpenShift console and we go to our new project so it was my project you can see here the deployments you can see my app is deployed I'm going there it's setting one pod it's not running yet and the app is up and running just creating the container so it looks like the pod is running so we should be able to go to the route which is created and we can click and open the app and say hello and cloud pack for applications uh, thank you